This is the Hidden Killers podcast with Tony Bruschi. Featuring retired FBI special agent Jennifer Coffindaffer. What was your reaction uh, to the uh, sanctions against the attorney that wasn't representing Chad Daybell, wasn't representing anybody, but but tried to get a stay on the trial right before everything was was going uh, to begin using his bar number, misspelled words, uh, just kind of aloof on the whole thing. Do you th- was this connected in some way to John Pryor? Do you think John was reaching out to somebody going, hey, I'm I'm in over my head here. I need some help. And this was, you know, the best doofus he could get his hands on. Well, I think you described that pretty well. (laughs) Uh, I've seen it before, uh, especially in a situation like this. Look, he's over his head in terms of the amount of work. Uh, We've talked about it before. Is he even uh, actually qualified as a death penalty attorney who has never done a death penalty case to be first chair in this particular trial? I don't know. I think there's six amendment appellate problems and i i think he's he's trying to dig himself out from those issues but it, it didn't go over well and, and that's what i'm concerned with on this whole thing so i think we're definitely going to get a conviction here on chad daybell but what about that what about the appellate issues because john Pryor, obviously we know he already tried to state to the judge he wanted off the case just a few months before it was to begin stating he's not qualified for it and, and his whole thing and the judge basically said Tough luck. You should have said that a long time ago. And and here we are. Uh, you know, the case is going pretty much, I think, the way it was going to go. I don't know that you can have any attorney that's really going to be able to, to bring any sort of viable defense to Chad Daybell. But at the end of the day, too, uh, is this going to open up some issues uh, of, of not uh, adequate representation? I think there are issues. Uh, I don't think that he has adequate representation, not because of John Pryor's or or because of attorney Pryor's abilities, but rather, Tony, because there are all these other things that you have to have. You have to have support. You have to be a death penalty qualified from the standpoint of having a trial under your belt before you are lead. Mm -hmm. And I think there's going to be all sorts of appellate issues, I'm afraid. Do you think we're going to see another round of the Chad Daybell trial in a a year or two because of all of these things, essentially just a a part two with the same cast and and really the same script for the most part? You heard it here first. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I I think we will. I don't know if it'll be a year or two. Uh, because I think it's going to take longer than that, possibly for the appellate issues. But Mm -hmm. I think they're going to have a a Sixth Amendment appellate uh, relief. And I think we're going to see round two. If we do get a conviction here and then uh, obviously death is on the table, how much do you think the LDS influence in this community, I believe it's like 96% of the population there is LDS, uh, in terms of them coming to grips and, and, and making a choice of saying, yes, uh, he should be put to death for what he's done. Or are we going to see kind of a, you know, it's, it's not the, you know, the Jesus thing to do. Ah, yes, that is interesting because you're right. The makeup of the jury is going to be lopsidedly, um, uh, LDS. Yeah. And with that in consideration, you know, if you look, though, at very, very conservative people, there is a lot of biblical support for the death penalty. And I'm not talking about an eye for an eye. I'm talking about the Old Testament mm-hmm. that talks about putting people to death who have committed murder. So I I don't think that will be too much of an issue, quite frankly. But honestly, I think I'm going to be surprised if I see the death penalty here. Not that I don't think he deserves it, but I I don't think they're going to decide in that way. Is it a valid argument, though, to say, because I know the uh, argument that was made earlier on when they were trying to get it thrown out was, well, you know, because of Lori, uh, she didn't get it. It wasn't even on the table for her. But of course, that was also, uh, you know, basically a clerical issue uh, as to why it got uh, taken off uh, with the attorneys not filing something in time. Um, Should that even come into consideration? Because Lori didn't get it. He shouldn't get it. I don't know that that's really valid here uh, when we're talking about two children and a wife and God knows who else uh, that ended up having their lives 
taken away uh, because of, of these two. Tony, I think that that could be argued, even though, as you say, one was a sanction because of discovery. Mm-hmm. And then she's it's not on the table now because they charged her with conspiracy as opposed to first degree murder. Mm-hmm. So because of that, she's not going to face the penalty, death penalty. And on the, the premise of all of that is, though, for like actions, uh, should one get or death when the other person didn't? Mm-hmm. I think it's going to come into play. I really do. I think a great sentence would be, let's just put these two on an island and make a reality show and don't let them hurt anybody else but themselves. And then we can watch it. I I would watch. I think everybody would watch. It'd be very entertaining as they try to start to start a cult with just the two of them when there's nobody nobody else to uh, to be there. That could be that could be entertaining. I don't think they deserve an island, Tony. I want to see them both minimally in a nine by 12 cell, 23 hours out of out of 24 every day to think about what they did to those children and to Tammy and to Charlie. Yeah, maybe not an island. Maybe a sandbar is all they get. Just a very small (laughs) sandbar with a lot of sharks in the water. Uh, That's what I was going to say. Surrounded by sharks. Exactly. Exactly. Sick of the ads? We opt to. Start listening with no commercials now and get access to all of our episodes in advance of everyone else. Become a True Crime Today Premium Plus subscriber on Apple Podcasts. Search True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts or go to our podcast page and sign up now. True Crime Today Premium Plus. Sign up now.